this is the CJM Industries bracket and uh, this bracket is for installation of like a element 50 or 100 fire extinguisher which we'll talk a little bit about in a second the kit itself comes with a couple of brackets you have this uh, backing plate with a couple of pretty nice quality uh, rib nuts if I say so myself I'd actually be interested to see where they got these from since they have a hex head in the back I have a couple of other ones that are over here just from my own and um, these are nice but the quality in these is is pretty top-notch and um, it's good to see this is feels like an ABS plastic it's uh, it's definitely pretty nice quality as well it's very thick and the way this works is this essentially goes into your seat this sandwich is between it and then you have a couple of mounting holes that mounting hole is used for this bracket this bracket doesn't come with this kit it actually comes with the extinguisher yourself so if you get this and this bracket is supposedly missing it's not it's really just test your extinguisher concept is simple so first of all as I mentioned it comes with these it has very good instructions a couple of uh, um, M6 screws with uh, designed specifically for Allen wrenches then a couple of crest tip uh, screws as well so that being said let's talk a little bit more about the fire extinguisher so you have the element 50 and then you also have the 100 as you can see right there 100 seconds right so as you can guess the other one is 50 second discharge and the way this works is um, you pull this cap off underneath that cap is a strike surface kind of like a flare if you've never used one and then you pop this off and on the other underside of this section is a striker and then you use that striker to strike against it chemical reaction goes off and and it kind of goes off like a flare it's going to make the same sound um, and then you'll see a discharge of white powder so the propellant is essentially a chemical reaction because this is tubular in shape it, the propellant from the chemical reaction pushes the dust forward and that dust blankets whatever is on fire and then hopefully at that point suffocates the fire right there's a lot of different ratings that are on these in turn uh, online whether it's a b c d um I, I mean this wouldn't be good for a d for class fire and honestly i'd even say uh, ash producing fire i would not recommend this either i've seen the people using this online and i don't know if this is a uh, not understanding how to use fire extinguishers in general but uh, I see a lot of people they just they hold it directly up to it and what's happening is because it's ash producing fire generally speaking if you're pushing oxygen onto the fire the fuel source is already there the heat's already there and because this is creating a propellant that's feeding the fire which actually makes the fire much bigger um, so uh, from my understanding or from what I have seen online though these work, work work very well for um, like grease and fuel type fires, which is something that, you know, obviously is the main culprit of what catches on fire in vehicles, especially when you start modifying them. So something like this might be worth having, especially if you have like a uh, smaller vehicle or something like that, that you're really concerned about space, you know, or maybe you just don't have a lot of mounting options. Um, this could be an option. There are a couple of uh, brackets that are out there where you can mount full-size fire extinguishers in the Golf uh, GTI and Golf R. Um, so you could use those. Um, but, you know, this is also an option as well. Uh, so uh, that's the main reason why I ended up going with this was because of the fact that these are supposedly supposed to be pretty good with fuel. And uh, that's what I'm most concerned about in general. So... Um, installation is going to be rather simple. I'll show you that here in a second. We'll fast forward to that in a minute. Okay, here's installation afterwards. So, fairly simple. As you can see underneath, there's a big giant hole. And uh, all you do is just kind of push your cushion up a little bit, and then it kind of slides in there. The cushion actually really helps to kind of hold it in place, which makes things a lot easier. 
Um, one thing I would recommend doing before putting the bracket up there, at least the bottom part that holds the clip in, install the clip first. I thought I would be able to do it afterwards, but found out that there's a, that little bracket makes it hard to actually be able to tighten it. And uh, so I would install that clip first and then install it afterwards. Keep in mind, this clip is plastic, right? This doesn't need to hold 100,000 foot pounds. So uh, tighten it enough to hold it and uh, maybe cinch it down a little bit. But if you're a gigantic guy with huge arms, you don't need to really put 200 foot pounds of torque on this. Just give it just enough to snug it up and that's about it. Uh, clearance issues, I thought maybe I would have some clearance issues because there are some harnesses up here and stuff and you know that bracket that was down here because this is it's a golf R so it does have some electric uh, motors inside of here um, but it wasn't too big of an issue thankfully it's a manual slider so ignore all that dust back there um, and then uh, as far as installation goes and removal <coughs> this just goes up and clip that in place and there you have it. Nice and easy. So if I ever wanted to grab it, I could just reach my arm down, pull it, and then easy peasy, right? So, not a bad install. Nice to have a piece of uh, safety in there. And um, uh, doesn't take up a lot of space either. It's a uh, it's pretty clean install. So anyways, uh, that's kind of what we're at. <laughs> There is another fire extinguisher bracket that is going here, and that's for like a the kid style fire extinguisher, I believe. It's a it's pretty large, um, and it does fit in this spot here, and it does have quite a large bracket as well. That bracket's pretty expensive, um, unfortunately. So, uh, so keep that in mind. It would probably be a benefit to have either one of these two uh but as i mentioned before this one is kind of more geared towards like you know uh fuel type fires and whatnot i'm gonna i'll preface this again do your own research don't use this on ash or class a style fires just because i have seen a lot of videos where it just kind of feeds the flames and honestly that's how you know ash or class a type fires uh continue so uh, by giving them, giving them uh, oxygen to feed the propellant, which is the fuel. Um, well, in our case, it's ash that we're talking about. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Easy install. If anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, have I tested this out? No. I've seen uh, quite a few videos on it. Um, I've seen quite a few forum posts on it. But I mean, honestly, at this point, I'd rather have nothing. Or I'd rather have this than nothing. And uh, I'm hoping at a bare minimum it will... Uh, help if they ever have a fuel style style fire so anyways uh let me know if you got anything that's it for now